The leader's Oh, I'll still shoot her. Not this time, down. you son of a bitch. Perfect. Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with day eight of the Black Ops 6 beta. And today we're going to take a look at the DM-10. Now the DM-10 is the second of two marksman rifles. Let's see how we have it configured. First, I'm at level nine. So I do have the Accu Spot Ultra Hollow because I like hollow lenses or really red dots or no optics at all. Next, we have the Gain Twisted Barrel or Gain Twist Barrel, which improves performance at mid to long range, increases the bullet velocity, and we'll put on the Flip Map. It helps with the reload quickness. You got one down, one up. The Assault Grip, and that helps with sprint to fire speed. And that's important because on these maps, although there are a lot of long lanes where you can get long shots, where you can shoot at enemies at a distance, most of the engagements I've found are clustered around tight objectives, so they're in your face, lip to lip kind of engagements. And finally, the heavy stock, which helps with flinch resistance. Important for this because it's not a one shot kill. In fact, I didn't really find that many one shot kills, if any, with this weapon. We don't have the advanced statistics for it. I'm thinking it's two shots no matter what. I did get a lot of headshots and none of them were one shot kills. But we'll find out when the advanced statistics come out. I thought it was a fairly good weapon. I was able to get a lot of kills with it. I was able to turn on people, people that were wounding me, I was able to take out. So let's take the DM-10 onto the field of honor. See how it did for Grandpa in a beta kind of way. See what it did to Grandpa's beta enemies. Let's go. All right, let's get into this. The DM-10. First shot with it, a long shot. That's pretty nice. And that's the default scope. I really didn't like the default scope because I'm not a sniper sn scope kind of guy, nor am I a sniper snope kind of guy. So you can see that I'm pulling the trigger multiple times. And Grandpa just bought the farm right next to the swimming pool. I was going to go in for a quick dip. And some, um, some stingy condo owner would not let me go in. So I'm sneaking around with this thing, and it, really, I, I think it, the scope is why I thought I wouldn't like this weapon at first. Because, like I said, I don't like looking down these big scopes. I think they obscure a lot of information. I don't know if that stuff on the right, you can see that little LCD screen on the right, if it actually gives you any information. I can't read it, but it sure blocks out a lot of your peripheral vision over to the right so oh that was a nice ballerina move there where is this guy that's supposedly taking oh, he's he is tot he's visited the kino der toten all right so we got to remember we want to win these games oh there's a bad guy and see, I think that I counted two shots to the head. That guy took me a couple of shots to the derriere. Made him the butt of the joke. So Grandpa's just getting situational awareness. This map here, if you go over to A, you can actually look across the sea. So it's not all that far between the two. So the tried and true way of controlling a, B and an A or B you can actually modify on this map you can control a, a and C it's reasonable and give up B because B is right in the middle of the of the blender and you can see grandpa there is working his way up the the ladder there's another derriere shot Make that guy the butt of the joke. You can see going from A to C is just a short little walk. You can stop for a meal in that long table. A lot of long sights in this very tight map, which means it'll be good for long shots when you're going for camos. 
this map will be good for long shots. Almost all of them will be. Surprised I didn't jump off the map there. Somebody's shooting Grandpa. Make, trying to make him the butt of the joke. Where are we? We're losing it. Oh. How about this? Hold that grenade for a second there. Or did I throw it off the map? Where is he? He took it. Got rid of him. We got a kangaroo. I got gacked by a kangaroo. There's a chopper. Those choppers I didn't feel were particularly effective in the beta. See, he reloads really quick. And Grandpa falls off the map. Takes a look at the, the swimming holes below. Where is this guy? Oh, he's still there. Didn't expect anybody to come up the come up the stairs after him. Come on. Average terrorist, not necessarily intelligent terrorist. Grandpa's waiting for somebody who wants to swim. Hot tub's empty. Gonna flip the switch while I'm down here to fill it up, get some bubbles in it. There were two shots to the head at that distance. That can't be more than 20 meters. There's a head shot and a body shot, so it looks like it's a minimum of a two shot kill. That guy there. Grandpa wounded. Still trying to win. We got B and C. Somebody looks over the balcony and puts one in, in Grandpa. So this weapon, you know, it, it, if you got a fast trigger figure, and <laughs> trigger figure, if you have a fast trigger finger, I don't think it's going to matter because that's about as fast as it can shoot right there. This poor guy came after me twice in a row. He's going to respawn again, I think. I could be wrong. Got tired of getting gacked by a senior citizen. I don't think there's any way we can win unless we dominate here. But we always can make it painful for the other folks. Oh, this is bad news. We catch B and we lose. All right. My introduction, I ranked it up some, and now here we have the hollow lens optic. I like this thing a lot more because it does not block my peripheral vision. You can see you can strafe with it. I felt like I hit the guy about four times. They're going to have to, or maybe they don't have to do anything, but up in the damage on this thing would probably be okay. You can see I got a little stutter there. I got a bunch of those in my connection. Oh, I'm the high value target. Just got 25 points for breathing. See that blue outline of my weapon? This is a good map for HVT. There are some maps like Rewind I thought was not a good map for HVT. Simply because you just spawn so far from the other team. Look at there, it's calling me an old timer. Where do I complain to Activision labeling me an old timer? Grand pauses. There were two headshots there, and that's what it took to gack them. You're only as old as you feel. Besides, Grandpa looks pretty young. What's going on here? A revenge. Oh, see, the guy was already getting shots in on me. Whoa, Grandpa's down, but you get a pistol when you go down like that. And I managed to get old timer a teammate revived me. So we got full streaks. We'll put out the chopper. Oh, I'm down again, but look at there. You can pull out the pistol. Get another kill. Oh, that guy's breath was bad, but I'm not going to complain because he revived me. It's Grandpa's chopper out there. I'm going to stay along as lo long. We're going to stay alive as long as we can here because I'm still the high value target. Almost, but. 
75% through the game right now. I think it goes to 120. And there we are with another hitch in the connection. And that usually meant Grandpa was dead. Sometimes the hitches lasted 15, 20 seconds. So I was just standing there like I was a still photograph in all my glory for 15 or 20 seconds. And guess what? I always had to respawn afterwards. This time the guy decides he's done with poor old Grandpa. But we've got a commanding lead. And Grandpa takes out the high value target. Takes multiple kills because the HVT does have plates, armor plates. And you can reinstall them after you're wounded. If you're revived, you're revived with the plates fully there. At least that's what I think because I couldn't put the plates back in. It would just switch to the, the pistol, my secondary weapon. Grandpa gets insta-killed. But they just have too much ground to make up here. And there it is. We win. Grandpa ended up second place on the team. Hey, let me know if you've tried the DM-10, what your config is, if you like it. And speaking of like and like and subscribe is always helpful. Helps me, helps the family. Cheers and peace.